Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another discussion video. You all were actually very civil in the comment section of the Dior 3 discussion video, so I thought I'd do another one. So, today's topic is why I hate Acceleracer fan games. Now this is not to say that I hate the people who make these fan games, I just really don't enjoy playing them anymore, and I refuse to work on them myself. So for a quick disclaimer, this is not a personal attack on anyone in particular, so do not take it as such. If you are offended by any of the points that I make in this video, then perhaps you should reevaluate your outlook on life. And maybe do a little bit of growing up, because everybody has something to say on the internet, and you should not take it personally. So then, let's jump right into the points that we have for today's video. Point number one. They're usually not fun to play, and they generally don't look good. So most Acceleracer fan games are either made in Unity, Unreal Engine, or Roblox. There was one game a while back that was made in the Blender game engine, but that game looked so horrible that I am very glad that it never came out. <laughs> but let's talk about Roblox to start with. Generally, Roblox does not look good unless you put in a ton of effort. And working with Roblox is apparently very tedious as there are a lot of constraints with the engine and blah 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 technical stuff that no one cares about. Now on the other hand, you have Unity and Unreal, which are the more popular game engines as they are easier to work with, don't have as many limitations, and they are able to run on most computers. But with that said, a better engine does not mean a better game. To use as an example, I worked on a game a long time ago with RJIIG, or RJIG. We worked on a game together, we released a trailer here and there, but the game got cancelled. The problem with that game was that none of us knew how to code, and instead we just bought assets on the Unity Asset Store. The game died off quick, and it never really became a game, because... Unity and Unreal have marketplaces that allow you to buy assets so you can give the appeal that you're making a good game, but in reality, you're just buying assets. And going back to they're not fun to play, generally speaking, when I say fun to play, this is subjective to each person as you can get different levels of enjoyment out of different people. Some people will find a shitty game fun, and some people will find a great game to be shitty. So that draws the line. Where do we draw the line on where fun is? Well, for me, fun is when I can play a racing game and I can get through a race and I don't sit there and go, huh, that game sucked. That race was boring as hell. So if I'm racing through a track and I get bored, that either means that the track is not interesting enough or driving the cars is not fun. Now, you can argue whether or not it's one of those depending on the project, but generally most of the time, it's because the track is not fun, or the cars are not fun to drive, or the environment is not interesting enough to keep you visually distracted away from the fact that both of the track and the cars are not fun. To use an example for this, Project Acceleracers is one of the most prominent video games that have come out of this community. And I'm going to be honest, I played it twice, once back when it first came out, thought it was crap back then, and I played it again recently, thought it was still crap right now. Reason being is that the cars are not really fun to drive. They feel slow, even though they say they're going through 100 miles per hour. It feels like I'm going 30. And the environments, while sort of kind of visually interesting, are not living up to their potential. They just kind of look like bought assets and, and really crappy assets put together. Now, again, that is not a bash towards anybody that worked on that. You can work on whatever you want. Whether or not that's a waste of time is completely subjective to each person. I think it's a waste of time personally because I feel like I could be doing things differently, but I will not shame anyone who, you know, spent their time working on that game. So they're not fun to play and they don't look good. That's point one. Point two. Fans are not good creators. They set their expectations too high and end up making horrible results. So if you do not know, the difference between a consumer and a creator is a very fine line. Someone who consumes often wants to get as much out of everything as possible because generally speaking, they're either giving out their time or their money to get something. Creators do the same thing, but instead of spending their money and time getting stuff, 
they're spending their time and money giving out stuff they're providing youtube videos they're making games movies episodes of tv shows etc fans do not make good creators because they set their expectations too high because they're always expecting more to come out of things because they assume that the more time you put in the more you'll get out of it that's not always true which if you don't have the right skill set then you end up having mediocre results and that ends up ruining motivation or just causing you to fall into a funk and then your game ends up horrible so fans are not really good creators because they are fans and not creators point number three generally speaking the developers of these games cannot take criticism i will not name anyone in particular but for now we'll use aliases to make a hypothetical a developer named Smogly developed a game for many years and did not take criticism well when people would criticize his project. For instance, if a user came up and said that they could not play the game on their console because it would run at such a low frame rate, but instead of the developer focusing on fixing the problem that the players listed, he just took the criticism as a personal attack, then nothing would ever get done, the game would never improve, and instead you'd be stuck with a mediocre result. Generally speaking, fans and the Acceleracers community do not take criticism well. That goes for the development leads and that goes for modelers as well. Point number four. Most of the time, these fan games never get finished or even released to the public. Now I have two sub points for this. Or sub point one is that oftentimes trailers or announcements are made really early in development to the public because they want to use fan hype as motivation but if that fan hype doesn't keep motivating then it never gets finished it gets dull real quick to have people telling you when's it coming out when's it coming out i'm really excited for this coming out it gets really old really fast and you start getting mad about it and you start getting tired of it and then your game never gets finished I've spoken from experience because I worked on a Roblox game back in 2018 called Ignition. And I tried my best on that, but I couldn't help as much as I wanted to. And the game fell apart pretty quickly. The second point of this point is that they become too ambitious and then the creators get overwhelmed. So there is a very prominent problem with most development and that's called feature creep. Feature creep is when you keep adding little parts to your game that don't really mean much to the overall game but it takes up development time and then your game never gets finished and when you feature creep to an extreme like if you want to add 35 realms and over 100 cars to your game then it's easy to get overwhelmed and when you get overwhelmed you start not wanting to work on it and then when you start not wanting to work on it you just kind of drop it and never gets done i'm speaking from experience on that as well because once again, that was something that was going to happen in another fan project I was a part of back in 2018. So, point five. Development team drama often ruins the game. Now, I'm not going to go into specifics for this because this could spark a lot of drama and I am not really wanting any of that on my channel right now. But let's just say that development teams that are based on trust alone when there's no monetary incentive and there's nothing holding the team together except for this little bit of trust it never works out because people will change over time and people oftentimes are even hiding what they're actually like and that often means that something will happen like drama will start up in uh, general chat or maybe you'll speak french about the developer and they'll take it personally and then the game will fall apart or something it doesn't make for a good development team and then the game gets ruined and then the game falls apart and blah 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 drama 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 you get the point nobody really likes drama and that's all there is to it my last point is on roblox in general i talked about that earlier but I'm going to go into more depth about what I think about Roblox fan games because, in my opinion, Roblox isn't worth the time. It's just a waste of time and you shouldn't be putting any time into it for four reasons. Number one, it is not an intuitive engine. 
sure, it's a browser-based engine, and you can play it with just a with a potato PC, and nobody has to really buy like three grand worth of computer parts to play it. But it's not intuitive because there's so many restrictions, and you're so constrained. The Roblox development team has an entire set of guidelines of things that you can and can't do. There's a lot of limitations that you have with working on the game. And a lot of the time, developing the game is not as fun as developing other games because you have to work around so many different things like Roblox updates breaking something or Roblox just generally limiting you and what you can and can't do. Like, I know for a fact that most Roblox fan games cannot have collision with the cars because the game physically cannot handle collisions. And that's kind of a problem because adding collisions to races is 90% of what makes races fun. If you want to knock your friend off the track and they have to reset, that's hilarious as hell. That adds an aspect of it that you want to be able to race with your friends. If not, then you're basically just ghost racing the entire time. And if you're ghost racing, then you might as well just be doing time trials with your friends at the same time. What's the point in that? There's not really any fun to it. The second sub point I have for Roblox is that, generally speaking, the fan base is horrible. I've spent some time in the Roblox fan base, and every single time I go back to it, I end up wanting to hang myself from a tree, and that's not really great for any mental state. I'm not going to go into specifics again because drama, blah, 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 but I am not a big fan of the Roblox fan base. My third point for Roblox is that Roblox doesn't look good unless you put a ton of effort in. That's because Roblox is browser-based, as stated earlier. There's limitations with what you can do graphically. They only recently added the ability to use normal maps, which if you don't know what a normal map is, it essentially uses pixel data from a from an image and it manipulates how the model looks and you can make a really good model from a low poly base that's essentially it they only recently added that which is a great step forward but with the way that roblox works if you add too many normal maps into the game then it'll run like shit on anything that's not a 2070 and up and uh, that takes away the point of roblox where you can run it on a potato pc and point number four is that it is roblox it is a game designed to cater to four to ten year olds if you are over the age of 10 then why the hell are you still playing it because quite frankly it's awful <laughs> Have you seen the most popular games that they have out there, boys? Have you seen this shit? Jailbreak? Uh, what's it called? My Little Pets or something? It's like a pet game. I don't remember the name of it because I never played it. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. That's going to offend so many people. I'm getting canceled on Twitter.com. By the way, go follow me on Twitter.com so you can cancel me. But those are the reasons why I do not like Acceleracer fan game. If you think I said something wrong, then be sure to tell me in the comments section. We can't really use dislikes and likes anymore because YouTube is slowly but surely removing them. And so, uh, yeah, leave a comment telling me what you thought I said. If you thought I said something that was bullshit, then that will be a funny discussion. If you thought the things I said was great, then be sure to praise me in the comment section as well. You know, I I'm basically bored as shit, so I'm looking to argue in the comment section or something. I don't know. And that'll be about it. Uh, this is Vulcan Vugan signing out for another video. See y'all in the next video, boys. I've said video five times in the past 30 seconds. Holy shit. Bye.